Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. Well, the answer is yes, it is possible, uh, but it depends on several factors, okay? Um, I, I would need to know, you know, how he entered the country, how long he has been here, if he does have any criminal history, did he enter the country more than once, uh, did he commit any fraud? So first, I need to know what, grounds of inadmissibility exist. Obviously, if he is uh, in removal proceedings only because he's here illegally, as of right now, um, minus any of the other relief, he might be able to apply for what's called prosecutorial discretion because President Biden has made it clear uh, that they are targeting uh, persons who are at risk, okay, who are at risk to society, and who are in the high level category to be deported and pretty much that falls uh people who've committed crimes and then even then certain kind of crimes so if your husband is only here illegally um not that he you know can beat and get other forms of relief which he might be able to but as a side note, prosecutorial discretion or PD is back on the table and that would allow him to remain here while checking in usually once a year, once every six months to immigration. Now, since he's your husband, I don't know if you are a U.S. citizen or lawful permanent resident, you might be able to petition him. And even if he can't adjust status, you might be able to do a uh, waiver, a uh, waiver of the three to 10 year bar um, you know, provisional waiver, and then he might be able to leave for only a week or two and then come back. Um, I don't know if he's been here for 10 years and, uh, you or children might have a severe hardship if he were to leave. Note that is not just the normal, uh, hardship, but you know, if, if one of your kids has a medical problem or if you do, uh, then cancellation of removal, um, uh, might be an option. I don't know if there's been different things happening in this country. He might be able to apply for asylum, withholding of removal, convention against torture. Um, depending how long he's been here, he might be able to apply for registry. I don't know if he's under 245I. Maybe his parents uh, applied for you know their stuff before April 2001. So there's a lot of different options. So don't just give up. Don't just sign the please deport me paper. Um, and get some good representation. Okay.